Hello and welcome back to the Drop by Dragon. Just wanted to show you guys the first invasion that I have had in this game. Uh, it was kind of interesting to uh, figure out these mechanics a little bit. Uh, you know, just from the main little menu thing that you have there, you can invade people not that far into the game. I, you don't need a special item or anything like that that I've seen. It's pretty much just the way that, you know, it looks. Uh, it is interesting, to say the least. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of stamina management, things like that, that you're going to have to... Uh, Understand, you're gonna see this poor guy that I invade. It does seem like you can invade solo players, which is interesting. They do have their followers with them, which are the NPCs. I kind of take a look around. I'm sure that most of you who are going to invade almost immediately are gonna run into this exact same area. I don't know if it's specific or not. There's a whole lot we don't know about this game, uh, but uh, matchmaking wise, this guy's you know pulling his followers up. He pulled up one of them. Follower doesn't even notice that I'm there, which is interesting. That one noticed me, but he's dead. I go ahead and buff the weapon, and boom, that one's already dead. It seems like the NPC followers just kind of drop like flies. Uh, this dude is using his wizardry very quickly, which is putting him into the negative stamina. Um, I already knock him over like that. He deflects me there, and, you know, I'm still very inexperienced. I throw my own buff there because I didn't think he'd, he'd do that. But he's moving around. He gets a nice little deflect there. He's low on health, but then he use, does another wizardry like that, and his stamina is just so bad. And he's just like, oh no, what am I supposed to do? I'm kind of looking at him like, all right, let me just trade with him, and then boom, I get him in the stance where you can just, you know, do a bunch of damage to him because he's run out of stamina and he's been hit. Uh, <laughs> I do a little emote there, and then I pick up what I assume were things that he was wearing. So that is something, I guess, that works. I'm assuming that was something he had on. I don't know if that's the case, but, you know, it was two rank three lieutenant's pieces, which was, you know, nice. I get to do that. I don't get a lot of um, key for it or the souls of this game, but, you know, it was interesting to see that. So expect the invasions to look somewhat sort of like that in the future, and uh, I will see you guys next time. I was happy just to get anything. I have had a crash, unfortunately, while trying to invade people. I'm playing on the PS5 at the moment, and sometimes when I'm trying to matchmake with people, the game just crashes, which I'm sure they will fix. This is obviously saved on the PS5. But uh, yeah, interestingly enough, I had some fun with that. I'm going to be doing some more invasions. I did a few more after this, and they were a little bit more of the trying to find the guy, a lot of running away, you know, very typical stuff that you'd see in Souls. But the maps aren't that big, so there's not a whole lot of places they can run. And if they do try to do the running thing like they do in Souls, they're going to run into a ton of enemies if, as long as, they, you know, they, they haven't already cleared them all out. So there's a lot to learn here. There's a lot to go over here. And I hope to have some more information in the future. Have yourselves a good one and goodbye.